Gryffindor is one of the four houses available in Hogwarts Legacy. It's one of the houses that you get to choose to join when you are under the sorting hat at the beginning of the game. Or of course, you can go with the recommended house since you do get asked some questions by the sorting hat and you do get recommended a house. But if you don't want to join the house that you are recommended to join, then you can switch it. So yeah, the choice there is yours. But either way, today's video is a complete beginner's guide to the Gryffindor house in Hogwarts Legacy. We're going to go over loads of information about this house. Some of this information that we'll start off with won't necessarily just be related to the Hogwarts Legacy game. It still will be related to the Hogwarts Legacy game, but it will be general information about the house, a bit of history behind the house, and how the house has played out within the Hogwarts world. And then, of course, we will look at Hogwarts Legacy specific information, including the common room and the exclusive parts that you do get by joining this house in Hogwarts Legacy, and yeah, what you get in this house that you wouldn't get in any other house in the game. So, yeah, today's video is a complete beginner's guide to the Gryffindor house in Hogwarts Legacy, and let's waste no more time and let's get into it. Gryffindor was one of the four houses of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and was founded by Godric Gryffindor. Gryffindor instructed the Sorting Hat to choose students possessing characteristics he most valued, such as courage, chivalry, nerve, and determination, to be sorted into his house. The emblematic animal was a lion, and its colours were scarlet and gold, and its house point hourglass was filled with rubies. Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, also known as Nearly Headless Nick, was the house ghost. Gryffindor corresponded roughly to the element of fire, and it was for this reason that the colours scarlet and gold were chosen to represent the house. The colour of fire corresponded to that of a lion as well, with scarlet representing the mane and tail, and gold representing the coat. The Gryffindor motto was Forti Animo Estosi, which was placed on a stained glass window in the common room. The Gryffindor house emphasised the traits of courage as well as daring, nerve and chivalry, and thus its members were generally regarded as brave, though sometimes to the point of actually being reckless. Some Gryffindors had also been noted to be short-tempered. Notably, Gryffindor house contributed many members of Dumbledore's army and the Order of the Phoenix, although this may have been because the main members made it a point not to associate with other houses. Gryffindors and Slytherins had shared a fierce house rivalry since their founders, Godric Gryffindor and Salazar Slytherin, respectively, had a severe falling out over Slytherin's emphasis on blood purity. There might also be an element of feeling wronged, as Harry and his fellow Gryffindors tended to win a, a lot of circumstances, which, when viewed from a neutral point of view, may be actually considered unfair. Examples of this include the last-minute points awarded by Headmaster Dumbledore at the end of term feast, which conveniently put Gryffindor 10 points ahead of Slytherin in the 1991 to 92 school year. The fact that no points were deducted for the rule breaking that happens during that night. Harry Potter being permitted by Professor McGonagall to have his own broomstick for the Gryffindor Quidditch team, even though first years were not normally permitted their own broomsticks because of danger. There is a good chance that members of other houses might have felt that Gryffindor received favouritism. Many did see Harry Potter being chosen as the fourth competitor in the Triwizard Tournament as an unfair stealing of Hufflepuff student Cedric Diggory's Thunder. Overall, however, the Houses of Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff tended to side with Gryffindor in its rivalry with Slytherin. This was particularly notable during the Second Wizarding War. The members of Dumbledore's army were from Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw, but the army lacked any Slytherins. This, however, could have also been news of Dumbledore's army was passed by word of mouth, and Harry, who had initially raised it, did not associate with any Slytherins. During the Battle of Hogwarts, the Slytherin students left, while senior students from the other three houses remained behind to fight against Lord Voldemort and his army. However, it is also worth noting that while Head of House Professor Slughorn left with his students, he then returned to the castle with reinforcements, possibly including senior students, and with Professor McGonagall and Auror Kingsley. Most of the known Death Eaters, besides Peter Pettigrew, and possibly some others, had been Slytherin House members, and that might have been another reason reason as to why the other two houses sided with Gryffindor over Slytherin. So there you go, that was some general information about the house, its overall reputation, how the house works, and of course a bit of history behind the house. So yeah, like I had mentioned, that's not really Hogwarts Legacy specific information. Of course, it does all still apply in a way to Hogwarts Legacy, since of course it's about the house itself and how it works in the Hogwarts world, and of course Hogwarts Legacy is in the Hogwarts world, and you can pick Gryffindor as a house, so all of that still applies, but of course it's not exactly related to the 
the game and it won't exactly correspond to the game but of course it all does still apply so because that wasn't specifically focused on the game we will now focus on specific hogwarts legacy information about the gryffindor house in hogwarts legacy the gryffindor common room is where gryffindors spend their free time or do their homework to get inside gryffindors must find the secret entrance behind the fat lady's portraits and then crawl through a hole to get inside the room this portrait will only let in those students who know the secrets password of the week so make sure you do know it before trying to enter the common room now i could just describe the gryffindor common room but instead i'm actually going to play a tour of the gryffindor common room so you can see what it looks like for yourself in hogwarts legacy so yeah i'm going to play this tour of the gryffindor common room in hogwarts legacy now So there you go, that was a look around the Gryffindor common room in Hogwarts Legacy. And of course, you will notice that Gryffindor does have its exclusive colours, just like it does in the whole Hogwarts world. And of course, that still applies to Hogwarts Legacy. And if you join Gryffindor, you can use the gold and red garments, such as robes and scarves, as part of your Gryffindor uniform. But there we go, that was a complete beginner's guide to the Gryffindor house in Hogwarts Legacy, going over some general Gryffindor information about the house in the Hogwarts world, and of course, the Hogwarts Legacy specific information including what the common room looks like within the game, including what the entrance is like to enter the common room, since all of the entrances are pretty unique for each house and are very detailed, and of course what colours you can wear if you do join the house, those being gold and red garments. So yeah, that does just about wrap up things here. You now know, hopefully now know, everything to do with the Gryffindor house, whether that's just general information about the house or Hogwarts Legacy specific information. Now, I have done a video just like this, but instead going over the Slytherin house, and if you're interested in watching that, then a link to that video is on the screen now and you can go ahead and join me over there.